Evidence star Ashley Young has poked fun at Nottingham Forest after the club sparked controversy with a furious response to the refereeing of their match against the Toffees. Forest, who lost the Premier League clash 2-0 and are now four points adrift of relegation rivals Everton, were outraged by referee Anthony Taylor and VAR Stuart Atwell's failure to award Nuno Espirito Santo's side three penalties on Sunday. After the bruising defeat away at Goodison Park, a post from the club's official account on X slash Twitter questioned the integrity of the league's officials. Three extremely poor decisions, three penalties not given, which we simply cannot accept, it read. We warned the PGMOL that the VAR, at well, is a Luton fan before the game but they didn't change him. Our patience has been tested multiple times. NFFC will now consider its options, they added, with Nuno's side just one point above Luton, who currently occupy the first relegation spot. Forest defender Nico Williams also made headlines with a complaint-filled post-match interview, claiming that there were three blatant penalties during the game. Is it because we are lower bottom half-table teams? Williams asked. I guarantee top six teams are getting every single one of them. It's ridiculous. Young, on the other hand, is more upbeat. Having finished on the winning side, and been involved in two of three incidents, the ex-Manchester United and England winger smiled his way through his own interview and has now rubbed salt in Forrest's wounds. On Monday morning, Young took to social media and posted a screenshot of the song Cry Me a River by Justin Timberlake. As the caption, the 38-year-old wrote, Old school tunes for today, with two winking emojis. His post on X slash Twitter garnered nearly 10,000 likes within the first hour, with Forrest still getting pelters for their response. Jamie Carragher equated the club's tweet to that of a fan ranting about referees in a pub. That is embarrassing from Nottingham Forest, Carragher also told Sky Sports. That rubbish that VAR's a Luton fan, you can't get involved in that, you've got to show a little bit of class if you're a football club. I get it, the frustration, the officials had an awful day, terrible, but you can't get involved in that, that's nonsense. Your turn. Should the Premier League get rid of VAR? Give us your stance in the comments section. Gary Neville, meanwhile, said, it's horrendous, the statement by that football club, and it lets the proud history of that club down. The inferred cheating, as suggested by a Luton fan being a VAR official, is absolutely ridiculous. Even Crystal Palace's official account joined in the mocking, posting after their 5-2 win at home to West Ham, five extremely good goals, two goals conceded, which we simply have to accept. CPFC will now enjoy their Sunday.